Hi, this is Vasily, and you are watching tutorials how to grow plants inside of Cinema 4D. Let me show you a reference. Okay, let's back to cinema. First I will create a plane, orient this around x-axis, I would like to make it a big one and with dense mesh like 200 by 20. Let me show you the wireframe. Now I would like to create a stone, so it would be a cube with size z as 600. I would like to add a fillet here, maybe with 10 centimeters. Now I will hold Alt button and click on corner. Okay, let's name everything. Plane would be plane guide and cloner would be cloner stones. Okay, well, now distribute it different way. Sort of this. Okay. Also, would like to move everything just above the ground level. Okay, the next thing is I would like to arrange my stones from different sides of, of a wet plane. Sort of, you know, zigzag maybe. I'll create a plane effector. Go to fall off top and create simple formula field. What would be a modular? round ID with divisor 2 go to parameter disable field color and change x value maybe to to 50 0 should be 0 mm, not perfect let's disable that switch and add the range map set minimum output as minus 100 now I arrange it as I want it. Let's name this as plain stones slide in. And I'm going to animate this from strange 100 to a strand maybe minus 100. Okay, let me add some keyframes here. I will increase this to 300 frames. And also inside of key interpolation, I would like to change interpolation to maybe linear. Okay, and one more thing. Inside of my plane effector, I would like to add some rotation to add maybe a sort of dynamics here. Yeah, we can check uh, my animation setup to do it I will add maybe soft body tag to my plane I will change structural to maybe 20 share to 10 and flexion to 10 as well and my stones would be like a plane collider I just would like to increase that margin to 10 centimeters and reduce bounce to 5%. Let's see what happened. Yeah, it's colliding, but uh, we have some issues here. It's like gravity is affecting the plane, plane starting to fall down, and uh, it wouldn't be kept at that level. To make this happen, 
I would like to set the current state to object forward plane, disable this, and for wet plane, I would like to select top level points and invert the selection. Uh, the selected points would be affected by dynamics, but the points what is not selected wouldn't be affected by dynamics. You need to store that selection. Type Shift C, type Store, Store Selection, go to Dynamics tab and drop that selection into soft body mass map. Let's see how it works. You see what points are pinned to the top and everything is collided. Okay, that's good, but I would like to control gravity. So press Ctrl D, go to dynamic step, disable the default gravity and add a gravity force here. Where is it? Gravity. 500 would be enough, except one thing. In the follow-up tab, I would like to add linear field. That would be Y plus. That big. Move it here. How it would work? Everything what is above that uh, linear field would be affected by gravity fully, but after it would pass that border. Uh, gravity strength would be falling down, so that beginning of my growth wouldn't be so stretched away. Let's see how it works. This is good enough, but where is extra tension here? And I would like to maybe add some rest length here. So set keyframe on rest length by 100 and then frame 90. I will type here maybe 175. Make a keyframe and let's see how it works. My wrestling parameter would add that uh, like sort of foldings and in the final point I will also have some you know that curved cloth effect. What is bad here? Uh, my gravity is affecting the start of my plane is pretty much so I would like to move with linear field here move it back and I would like to add some randomness to my stone it will be random effector I will name this as random stones PSR go to top view let's see on top view. Ok, add some rotation. Maybe 10, 10, 10 would be enough. Also would like to add some wiggle. I will name this as random stones wiggle. And I would like to wiggle not only position but also with rotation. Go to Effector tab, change random to noise, space global animation speed maybe 5% and scale maybe 200. Let me check. It's pretty nice, but let's add some turbulence in our forces. Mm 
more than just turbulence. I would like to maybe change my initial rotation for the slide. It would be maybe minus 15. And as well, I would like to add me add the time factor. I would like my stones to be rotated during the time. I like what, but for the time effect, I would like to create a formula field and type the same thing mod id semicolon 2. So the clones what on that side would be rotated in one direction, and red clones would be rotated around different direction. Disable the checkbox, other range map, set this. And let me rearrange the effectors. Time would be here, slide in would be the last effect. Rewind and check. There is something happening, it. it's like our clones change it with Y position. That's because my slide in uh, acting in a not transform space. I will change this to a factor space. I think it would be better. It is fine. I will move this here. And I think it's time to bake my simulation. Okay, it's baked. Let's check the simulation. It is good enough. Now let's disable my guide plane, duplicate initial plane, and I will name this as a plane origin. Delete this tag. And the wet plane origin would be deformed by surface effect. Change type to map and UV. I will drop my plane here in surface field and change plane to yz okay i need to increase with scale as well now it's almost the same look as before except one thing now i am able to change the segments to maybe five okay now my low poly mesh is ready to be used in grow animation just one thing, I will add a random effector here with deformation of polygons. I would like to change transform space to effector and I will remove X and Y position change. In random mode it would be noise, animation would be 5%, maybe I will increase the scale. a bit intersected but hope would know just what happened okay good let me disable all my fields I mean disable uh, view and viewport let me fold everything Now I would like to 
grow some clones. Let me create a matrix, it would be matrix sprouts. Mode would be object. Drop my plane here an object and distribution should be polygon center. To see it better I will increase the scale to maybe 4, 4, 4. Okay. And it's time to add a new effector. It would be organic effector. Uh, it's my custom effector written on Python. Disable this checkbox, go to matrix object, create matrix monograph selection, disable organic vector for a while, and select these lower points here. Now, inside of organic vector, drop its selection here, enable it again, and uh, its wet field is used. To indicate where our my sprouts would start. It's time to add some animation. Assign of organic effector, go to follow field and create a linear field, change direction to y plus, and let's move it a bit. You see my sprouts are growing, but uh, way curled in not a proper uh, proper orientation. So I will go to user data and change curl data maybe to 90 and that to 0. Okay. Let's increase size. It's sort of nice effect but not what I like because my linear field creating some issues when it intersect uh, wet plane uh, at some position where plane goes from top to bottom and to top again. I can handle this, just remove the linear field and add a mograph weight map. Click use fields and I will add the formula field here. It would be a simple formula, it would be, name it as U. Disable, disable organic effector and you see this simple formula colorize all my clones from bottom to the top and uh, it uses UV map uh, UV map tag from wet plane origin let me create a material to show how it works here I create a gradient uh, type would be U disable cycle and first color might be red and this red and second color might be yellow disable that matrix and when I will drop this material here you will see the same effect uh, the material creates gradient from the bottom to the top and uh, it would map most left value to the bottom and most right value to the top. And that's because U changed from 0 to 1 along that surface. The same effect is here on the matrices. Uh, it colorizes all my clones from red to yellow. What would mean that we have weight of 0 here and weight of 1 on the top. Let me enable organic effector again. And I will drop this tag here in fields. I will disable the checkbox and change nearest to index. You immediately see how all my clones are curved, but that's not desirable effect. Let me change that behavior. I will add the curve modifier and I will animate this from the beginning it might be sort of 100 and on the end of animation it has to be 
minus 100. Let's check with animation. Uh, it's a proper behavior, but let's tune it a bit. Disable selection, go to organic factor, and inside the follow tab, let's create curve modifier and I will shrink with range a bit. And now the only tip of my um, curling is, is, is like animated. It has to tweak, tweak this a bit. But mostly it's fine. Okay, you may notice we have some troubles here. We need to change red curve delta to minus 90. And now first stone is properly curled, and second stone is curled improperly. That's because all of my clones oriented only in one direction. I would like just to change that orientation of the clones around this stone block and around this stone block. Select matrix, go to plane effector. I will name this plane stones rm fix. Let's see what we need to change. Disable everything. Oh, we need to change the order. Organic effector has to be the last one in the chain. Let's go to that effector again. Pitch is not heading is not working, but pitch. Yeah, pitch working fine. It would be 180. Okay, but we rotated everything. And we need to restrict only for this particular uh, clones. Go to the follow off tab. Let me create the same formula. Name it U. And create a curve here. Uh, by default, this curve has some unwanted uh, tangents. I will reset this. adjust everything. Maybe it's better to have a different uh, clone setup. I mean different uh, weight setup. I'll go here. Copy everything. Go here, paste here. Mm. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same. You can remove this. And in that tag I will put that formula here. As I will name this as a weight map orient. Disable organic effector for a while. And here in fields I will try to make yellow color color around the second clone and around fourth clone only. I think it's good enough 
Let's drop. Let's drop here with weight map. Just select this, change mode to index, disable the checkbox. And enable my organic effector. Yeah, all is good now. Now you see everything is animated in the same time and uh, I would like to change this just by you know going to wet weight map. I will name this as a girl weight map. I would like to create uh, maybe a shader field. Inside of a shader I will put tiles shader. It would be like lines and I need to create some randomness here. Set randomize color and uh, reduce bevel to zero. Okay, go back here, put it here and change blending to subtract. Oh, dramatic effect. Let's see how it works. It's, al it's already uh, uh, distributed in time. Let me just fine-tune this a bit. here let me just create new object it would be mod racer it's a free plugin what I made and it grows spline based on clones position you just need to put into mod racer our matrix object and we need to drop that selection tag here let me disable that clones view and we immediately see our splines here. Oh, we are growing in the same time. Let's back here. Maybe let's. Oh, we have a seat here. Let's change seat. Okay. And I would like to disable view of that origin plane. Yeah, inside of motor racer, let me add some intermediate point. This line natural to nice. Where it starts? Okay, start from the bottom. Maybe start too early. Let's go back to our growth stop. Select curve and select this keyframe I think on frame 90 it only has to be curled around the first stone so just change that value too much, too much Okay, nice. And at the end. Maybe it's, it's go too, too quickly. Let's change this. I don't know, maybe minus 50 is enough. What's the next? We need to create some button on the tip, maybe. Let me create new scene and go to top view. 
I need to draw one petal here. So this, this. Let me change type to a cubic. Intermediate point to uniform. Maybe two will be enough. Let me change the shape a bit. That's good. Now I will use a cloner to make a bot. Radio, zero radius, and this plane. Let me add more clones. Now I will add some randomness. Go to random. Disable position change, but enable scale. That's good. Now what I would like to twist that but around Z axis. And I don't have a single spline. I would like to create this using the tracer. I will put my cloner into the tracer. Change tracing mode to connect elements and handle immediate clones. Now disable my cloner. You see, tracer is a single object, it's a spline object, and we can put twist here. But we need to change the orientation. Okay, side of a twist, I will change mode to unlimited. And maybe I will put my tracer into the sweep nerves, I will drop maybe a rectangle here, change width to 1, height to 4. Okay, in the tracer object, I will add some intermediate points. Could be this line, uniform, height is enough, and in my sweep, I will go to the details and change scale. Like here, maybe. Let's disable twist and viewport. And maybe I would like to add some animation here. It would be like a random. Let me name this as a clone of bot. It would be a random bot scale. This would be a random bot animation. Disable position change, only rotation is what we're looking for. Disable this, enable this. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Inside of our random effector, go to effector tab, expand min max, and set minimum to maybe minus 30. Let's check. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Inside of that random effector, I will go to random noise, space UV, and animation speed maybe 6. Hit play. 
Let's change animation speed to 20. I think that's enough for our animation. Maybe we'll just increase size to 80. Maybe to 60. And that's enough. Maybe just replace a sphere inside of it. Okay, let me create a null. It will be null bot. And my tracer would be in local space. It will be sweep, but right here. Everything is here, copy with null, go to my initial project, I'll draw but here, and here, disable the view, but my sweep but will go under a cloner, press alt, click cloner, change mode to object, drop mode tracer into the object, change count to 1, select smooth rotation, disable loop and set offset to 100. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's use transform to scale our bots. Why not? Let it be so. Let me change the color for a better viewability. It would be sort of orange and wet cloner. I will leave this as a white color. Next thing is I would like to create a much nicer sprout shape because currently it's just a single spline. I would like to have several sprouts tangled in a single sprout. I will create just a helix shape uh, on the exit plane. Yeah. It would be 6000 height. And radius maybe maybe four. I will put this under a cloner. In the cloner I will change this to radial, reduce radius. Plane is enough. Count would be three. Move it here. Cloner butts. This will be a cloner. How to name it? Tree sprout. Okay, the same setup. I need to create a tracer. Hmm. Delete it. Select this cloner. Hold control, press tracer, change tracing mode to connect elements, handle clones to immediate clones. Disable view of my corner. I would like to see my tracer. Not connect elements, maybe connect along. Yes, right. Go back to initial helix 
and uh, where end angle is too low. Let me change this to multiply 10. I will disable intermediate points, but subdivision would be saying 600. Now I have a tracer, what is our tree sprout? And I will be able to draw spline wrap here. I will I will wrap this around with mod, mod racer. Just axis has to be Y plus. Okay, maybe it's not that good. I don't know. Let me check with tips. Yeah. In the tips, I would like to change scale a bit. Go to spline wrap, go to size, and here I will shrink the tip a bit. Okay, let me change color of it. It would be like yellowish. Okay, we have an issue here. Side of tracer, go to object and change immediate clones to clones of clones. Not it. Yeah. That is nice. Disable spline wrapping viewport. Disable mod tracer view. And spline wrap has to be changed from fit to spline, but keep length. And end mode has to be clumped. Maybe I will tweak this size as well. All is going good. We have some issues here. Okay, this is clown number three. Maybe we has issues inside our rotation fix. Let me check. Yeah, let me adjust it a bit. Yeah. And now I will add some branches here. Again, I will create new scene. I will create a moss spline. Disable this. Disable full shape. And maybe steps 32 and segments like a 60. <laughs> Let me add some curve here and uh, I will make some adjustment here and I will use some formulas would allow me to have different settings for different most blind signals. After that you see the first segment would be almost not curved and the last segment is wet curved. Let me increase that. Okay. And I would like to have different segment length. Okay. This one. Maybe it's too curved. Now I would like to Add some bending.
and maybe add some rotation. Maybe some twist. It's a good start, I suppose. Maybe inside of log band, we have to use global space. Yeah, and band with here. Okay, I will leave it as this, but I will animate this as well. I will animate all my properties like len, curve, and bend. Initially it would be zero, maybe zero, zero, zero. Let's see how it would grow. I think good enough. I need to copy it, go back to initial project, drop it mass line and wrap this into a corner. I will name this other branches. Inside of object I will change mode to object and drop my initial matrix object with sprouts here. Yeah, okay. Now we see a lot of branches. The first thing I will do, go to Moist Plane, go to Force Tab and change mode from Exclude to Include. That's because we have a lot of forces here and all of them affecting that Moist Plane, which is an important effect. Okay, now you see maybe that's too big. Go back to Matrix object and in the transform we had that scale. 4, change this to scale 1. It's much better now. Now I'm going to to remove some some branches. I will create I will create maybe shader factor. I will name this as branches this. And in the shading, I will put a black color. Change parameters here, here, visibility. And in the follow up setting, I will add random field with random mode as random. And uh, in the remapping tab, go to contour, spline, I mean curve, right click, reset. And adjust it to have very few branches. Okay, that's good. Let's orient this. Select cloner. I'll hold control, click plane, name this as a plane, branches, rotation fix. And in the parameters, disable this, enable rotation. Let's find the proper rotation for us. It has to be 90 degree. And maybe pitch rotation, no, maybe banking rotation. Yeah, banking rotation, sort of this one. Let's go further. We need to animate uh, that branches grow. To do it, go to cloner, transform tab, change animation mode to fixed. 
and create one more plane effector what would control our branches animation branches animation disable everything but enable the time of set of native frames and we fall off top let's drop I don't know yeah that tag here I need to change this by adding some curve I will reset it again I will invert this and maybe I will shrink this okay you see my sprout are grown and at some point the branches are starting to grow need to tweak this let me add maybe some scale variation select corner create random I will name this as random branches uh, scale in the parameter tab change scale to point two and some banking variation to the 15 degree and uh, after we have has been grown by statically staying in place maybe we would like to add some wiggle here I will use special force for that it would be turbulence I will exclude this turbulence from soft body simulation and I will move it here go to the most plane tab drop my new turbulence into the forces field section set some scale and change frequency click play I think, I think we are moving have some issues uh, our branch length is not enough to, to be fully grown we can fix that go to original tree sprout helix and change height to maybe 8000 yeah now it's good this is mostly done I suppose we has to maybe change that stones from the simple blocks to sort of uh, break it breaks maybe with rough and edges or that might be a different shape like a wooden planks whatever okay guys i skip it that were in setup how i made my stones but overall it's uh, just a grid array of matrix object and uh, I just made visibility shader and combining a cylinder field and random field with that setup cylindric field is clipping all the edges and that random field with overlay mode adds, adding some roughness to that edges or maybe some randomness to that fields uh, we can build the mesh over it I duplicated this setup two more times and using the same approach but different noise settings um, I'm getting these three different stones ok let's back to original stream I made few tweaks here it's now 600 frames and uh, actually in the render settings I made the uh, 90 fps and uh, 
After final render it would be one minute long video. I have prepared a few red, red shop shaders for the sprouts, for the stones, the ground. Every object organized and separate nulls. Here is my lights and background. Here is my camera setup. It was just animation was done using quite morph tag. So we can now follow that growth process. Again, my stones just remain the same, but uh, I have added that new free stones here. Also, the sprite guides, there is nothing. I made some tweaks to adjust the random look of that sprouts using that plain sprouts arc effector. Also, I have made the short spline that was attached with spline wrap to final mode eraser and to that spline tip object I was attached that buds. Also, to the buds I was added delay. That object are jerking a bit during the animation. And maybe that's all. That's all changes. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, where is one more feature? I have added that that switches, and you can easily disable some dynamics, some objects, just everything you want. And then we will suggest uh, to cache everything because project will be provided without cache. Initially, you can disable everything except the stones go to the tag and cache it after that you will you would need to recache with bots so you have to enable these elements and cache with tag after that you can enable all our things and yeah in in the branches I have added three different most line setup so the branches would look a bit different. Okay guys, I finally done. I was a bit worried while recording this. It's not an not a usual experience for me, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any comments, please comment me on Patreon. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.